Alrighty, what's up everybody? I'm at another location to explore. Um, and this one looks pretty sweet. Um, a lot of signs, I got some climbing over to do. I have my GoPro strapped to my chest. And this is a little sketchy because I read online that some people, um, well, for, no one's getting caught, but there's a house right there, but it has a door lock on the front as if like the house is for sale. And there was a car up front and I drove up to the house I knocked on it to see if anybody was there and it looked totally vacant and um, I'm not totally vacant like there was furniture inside but it looked fairly like no one really lived in there so the house is for sale um, there's like four or five dogs outside like you know like labs or whatever nothing creepy or weird it's a pretty nice house super nice house um, but it's right next to this crazy old it's called the treehouse ministers house um, in Crossville Tennessee so that's where I'm at and this is a, a one road so it dead ends and this is like the last bit of the road um, so I went up to the house, make sure if anybody was there, no one was there. Um, so now I'm up here, basically kind of parked my car to kind of stay hidden. And um, I'm by myself. So I'm going to go over there, check it out, it's trying to be as quiet as possible. I have a GoPro, like I said, on me here to get some footage of it. So um, without further ado, we're going to hop right into the footage and get right to it. Let's do this. Alrighty, so we're on the GoPro. I'm in my car obviously and so i'm about to open the door got to be pretty quiet like i said check out the house out over there you can't obviously see but it's over behind me make sure no one was there so i'm gonna go over here check this place out and grab some pictures do what i can then we're gonna see if we can hop out of here with no trouble Well, I guess this is where you enter, is right here. Make sure no one's behind me. The thing with being outside is that your voice carries. So. This is pretty sweet. Oh. Can I get my camera out? camera and have two cameras at once so all right so this is gonna be like a little bit weird because I have a camera right here that's recording and this camera but I walked down the the driveway as you can see right here which really wasn't that far now you can see the uh, entrance right there right above um, my finger so it's maybe a hundred yards if that um, this is the place that we're going to be checking out um, so we're gonna scope it out and like I said earlier there's a house right next door um, but it looked like it was for sale um, and so I'm here by myself just checking this place out it looks pretty pretty old and raggedy but we're gonna go in there and see if we can get some shots in and, and see what it's all about. So let's let's get right into it. GoPro.
man. This place is wicked. Okay, now we are recording with the camera. This place is huge. It's a little bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, it goes all the way up there. The Treehouse Ministry operates on contributions, on donations, thank you. God bless. This is a pretty cool place, I mean. I wonder what happened to it though. That's the biggest thing. This is so sketchy, like. Climbing all these stairs. I'm gonna try my best to, uh, I mean, this wood doesn't look that old, so it's probably not that bad, but, I mean, there's writings everywhere in these doorsteps, and so people, there's been a lot of people that have been here before, but that will, that could also mean that this was here before, actually, this went down. Like before it closed. As you can see the view. Over there. Still see in the GoPro. This is pretty wicked. This is really cool to me because, you know, I'm a person of faith and so, um, I really don't know the background, backstory of this place, the tree house or the minister's tree house, but I think it's super cool and it's kind of sad that this all happened to it, but um, it's definitely a cool place, like it's sweet. And I mean, there's writings everywhere, like people's prayers, people's pictures are over there. Um, you know, just everything is on here and so it's, it's pretty neat and uh, I think it's really cool, it really is. I just have to be careful because there's some holes in this flooring and you know we don't want that nothing bad to happen like that so I'm just trying my best to uh, walk around and be safe and make sure nothing happens but this is whoa that's a bee nest right there well we're gonna walk this way but this is just super super cool I mean, it just goes up and up and up. The pictures I was talking about earlier. Okay, well, we're making our way up higher. Oh, this tree house is so sketchy, guys. You can see the driveway. Looks clear. Looks like no one's by my car or no police cars. So that's good. There's some bees and stuff. I can hear them like big old bees. Oh, look, a rope climb. That's pretty cool. This place is like, it must have been so cool for these people. This place, I mean, this is from 2011, so this place must have been here for a while. That's a little sketchy right there.
You're beautiful. Well, we're at the highest point of this minister's treehouse right now. And if you look behind me, uh, right over there, that's where the main road's at. So we're at the highest point of where you could possibly be at. And I'll be lying to you if I didn't tell you, like, that's a little, a little creepy up here, pretty high. But hopefully I can find my way back down. But this is definitely super cool and awesome just to be up here. Uh, I mean, there's writings everywhere on this wall, just everywhere, and it's super cool. But look at this, look at this. I mean, I can just snap right through this, so it's a little, that's a little, uh, make sure no cars are coming. It's a little scary. But I wanna make your way back down. It's like 2010, so this thing's been here for nine years. Going on, it's gonna be going on the 10 years this year that this place has been here. So you gotta be careful right here. Oh, big steps too, big steps. And these are super steep. Super steep steps. But it's this is definitely super cool and awesome. Like I, I just can't get over how the idea behind a treehouse like this. Um I mean you think of an area for kids just would have been so cool. The concept of it. I could only think that this was maybe a spot for baptisms, possibly. Maybe. That's what I'm thinking about. Ugh. This is hard maneuvering a camera and grabbing stuff with one hand. This place is definitely big though, let me tell you. Definitely big. Like there's so much in here, I don't even know where to go. Super cool. Uh, I don't know. Like this, I keep saying the same thing, but guys, this is like just extremely cool. Like I've never actually been. Oh, that's the buzzing in here. It's like a big old horse fly. It's so loud. I thought it was a drone, but it's just a big old bee, like buzzing. Like I'm sure as most of you have heard what a drone sounds like from a distance. That's what that bee or hornet or whatever that is type of noise it was making. But this is super cool, super awesome. I'm just super excited. This I don't want to even want to keep talking, I just want to show you guys. I was down there earlier. Gotta be careful here. That's it right there. Why is it coming over here? Don't come over here. Now, that doesn't look too safe. If you're putting tape on tape, or it looks like tarp, or whatever that is. All the way down there. Yeah, they're big old wasps or whatever those are. Watching glass. We're gonna start making our way back down to the bottom. If I can remember where to go. Kind of confusing. Okay. Always double checking, making sure no one's by my car 
because that would that wouldn't be good. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. I just made another video inside of there, like about seven, eight minutes long, um, talking about some scripture. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely something cool. If you're interested in finding this place at, I'm just gonna give it to you. It's in Crossville, Tennessee, called the Treehouse, uh, the Minister's Treehouse. And, excuse me, I just recommend that you being careful coming back here and you ask the neighbors for permission. I try to do that, but nobody was home and that house is for sale. So I just kind of hopped the fence, but um, it's definitely cool. Something very cool. There's scripture everywhere. There's writings everywhere. It's a loving and a warming place to be at. Um, but I'm going to work my way back down the driveway, get in my car and, and head home. But thank you guys for watching again. I appreciate it very much. I'm sorry if the video was weird or I kept saying the same thing, but this was just a truly cool experience overall to come here. Um, I drove two hours from here. I'm from Nashville. So this is about two hours away um, but this is definitely cool I recommend everybody coming here and checking it out uh, anyways thank you for watching and hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys later bye